Dimelo Familia, what's up family? Welcome back. Today is Sunday and this is going to be a very chill, relaxed, laid back Sunday vlog. I just got my groceries, which for a second, my Sunday was gonna start very stressed out because I ordered last night and it said that I was gonna be delivered between 11 a.m. and noon today. For some reason, I didn't get any text. I didn't get any call, any email or anything. I just got an email recently that said, your order was delivered. I looked at where I usually meet the people that come to deliver my groceries. Nowhere to be found my order. So I called and they were able to figure out that it was the shopper that by mistake, they clicked on order delivered so that, that way I received the message and everything. But long story short, here are the groceries. So three bags of groceries. This is insane. Three bags of groceries, $122. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's crazy to see everything in perspective. I mean, they did a really good job of packing everything in three bags, so maybe that's the case. They didn't want to carry a lot of bags, but totally understand, but three bags, $122. We are going to do a little grocery haul. This is something that I've never done before. I bought a lot of things that I don't normally buy on my usual grocery runs but I decided to try implementing different things, try out different things to see what I like, what I enjoy, or what I don't like. So that way I can continue to expand my meal prep and my meal plan. I'm still learning about cooking, still learning about what the best foods are for me and my body. So we're gonna hop right into it. There's a lot to cover, a lot of things that I'm excited for. So let's do this little grocery haul. All right, so let's, move all this to the side so that way we can lay it lay everything out okay, let's just start with this one boom bread for breakfast and for snacks whenever i want to do like a sandwich or anything i'll just late at night or whenever i get off work quick meal i could either do peanut butter and jelly i'll do also um, some mayonnaise with uh, shredded chicken or tuna really good snack so essential for breakfast i do enjoy a lot of smoothies but also a lot of yogurt with fruits i also like for some reason i don't know whoever likes this but i also like bananas on my cereal i don't know it adds, adds texture and makes it a more full meal so got bananas right here also for breakfast i don't usually buy this Every now and then I do just to have a meal prep or a meal already on the go. This is a chicken Caesar salad, which is has everything right there. Prep It's just mixing it and everything should be good to go. Oil, I'm trying to, I, I'm trying my best to avoid as many oils as possible, but I decided to go with this vegetable oil right here just to uh, fry, sa saute anything, any meats or anything that I that I need for my meals. This is another thing that I don't usually buy, but I decided to try it out. And it's baby gold potatoes. Baby gold potatoes, which are going to be very useful. I can have this with some veggies and maybe some shredded chicken and that could be a meal. So I decided to try it out and see something that I, something that I enjoy. I can also saute this in the pan with some seasonings and some veggies. Really cool. So right here mayonnaise mayonnaise for tuna sandwich and also if I want to get fancy and do some mayo ketchup for all my fellow Latino people and Puerto Ricans out there mayo ketchup is the shit mayonnaise and ketchup together mixed a little bit of garlic or adobo seasoning salt and pepper top tier mayonnaise sauce classic Alfredo for my pasta, I really love pasta. Alfredo is one of my top preferences for pasta sauce. This is something that I used to buy back home or my family used to buy. These are peaches and it's a really good snack. It fills you up and if you're ever hungry, just open these up and eat them. I usually put them on the fridge because it's better when it's a little bit colder, but if you have it on your cabinets you can eat it as well that way been a while it's been a while but i decided to 
buy avocados. Avocados is something that I used to buy every now and then in college for my breakfast or to do maybe some type of toast, avocado toast, Jonathan version, which will have avocado, it'll have a sunny side up egg or uh, over easy egg and some mayonnaise with ketchup, mayo ketchup as the sauce, as the base. So I'm looking forward to implementing this to my breakfast. Bag number one done. All right, next we are going to the meats. Decided to try this out. I think I bought it before, but I decided it'll be something to purchase something different. 100% grass fed, ground beef, 85 lean, 50% fat. It's double combo for about $12, which is not bad because this will probably be, this will probably serve around, I'd say, four to six meals if I stretch it. So, really good purchase. This is another thing. Usually I don't buy chicken breast strips or fajita grill, but I thought that in the past I would have to uh, take out the chicken a couple hours before cooking and everything and that just takes too long for me. So I just decided to buy already sliced. So grill fajita chicken breast strips, which will be nice because I bought tortillas, which I'm gonna show you in just a few minutes. And I'm gonna do some burritos. So this will be nice to have fajita chicken breast strips. Ham for my breakfast, for my scrambled eggs, also for my sandwich or anything else that I may need it. So we got that. Same thing, but different. Chicken, crispy chicken breast strips. Really good if I wanted to have a different variety of chicken and crispy, I don't know, I enjoy crispy chicken. So, nice thing to have. Let's see what else. Boom, mozzarella sticks or mozzarella cheese sticks. Top tier snack, something whenever I go to a restaurant, preferably Chili's where they have the appetizers and entrees, we would just devour mozzarella sticks. So I decided to buy it and I also have marinara sauce. So this will be a nice knacking thing to have. Deadly, because sometimes I don't take one or two, I'll just take six or seven in one sitting. So I need to work on that, but mozzarella sticks. Orange juice for breakfast, just to have a different type of liquid. I drink a lot of water throughout the day and sometimes it may get boring to drink water. So it's good to have some different flavors. So orange juice is good. I decided to also buy half and half of, I believe, anyway, Let's see what this is about. I'll try it and see what it is, but it feels like heavy whipping cream, but if it's not, I can use it somewhere else. Bag number two done. All right, third and final bag. Let me see if I can. All right, third and final bag right here. Ooh, this one's heavy. Look at this. Look at this beauty. No need for me to do any messy anything else. Just put the meat and everything inside here and it's already good. Shout out Borilicious. Borilicious had a recipe and he showed these type of pocket burrito things and I was like, hmm, let me see if I can find them. And boom, there they are. Really good for burritos. This is something that I haven't bought before, so it'll be nice to try it out. I, for some reason, I just got bored of ordering a lot of veggies, especially broccoli and eating a lot of broccoli. So I decided to switch things up and go with a Korean style barbecue vegetable blend. Let's see if I can, boom, barbecue vegetable blend right there. Really, really good. It looks really good, so it'll be nice to see how it actually tastes. This will be really nice with some rice and some chicken or potatoes. So. This is something that I normally don't purchase, 
but I was like, I haven't had ice cream in a while, so might as well. So I decided to try this triple chocolate truffle favorite day ice cream. So whenever I have some, you know, wants of something savory and sweet, I can just get this and eat it. It'll be nice. I haven't tried this brand before. I've tried it for another thing, I think. Some cookies or some sh whatever. But it'll be nice to try it out. Chocolate, triple chocolate truffle ice cream. And then for my smoothies, I, I do have the bananas, but that the bananas are gonna be mostly for yogurt, cereal. But this right here will be for my smoothies. It's a strawberry and banana fruit blend. Really good. It adds volume, texture to the smoothies and a lot of flavor. So this is just a good, good top to have on your grocery. And then the next thing to top off this grocery haul, milk, whole milk, vitamin D. I don't have any preference, but whichever I find, whole milk was the one that I did have to go with. And then yeah, so this is and then also two of them because I use them for my smoothies for cereal. So I decided to buy two of them. Third bag, done. This right here is my entire grocery haul. All of this for $122. <laughs> it's crazy, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So today, Sunday, we are going to meal prep, but first we are gonna snack because I'm hungry as hell. And after that, we are going to then start cooking and prepping the meals for the week. So that way, when the week rolls around, we already have our meals prep and we don't have to worry about cooking or anything like that. And as you guys may or may not know, I have two jobs. So I have nine to five and then I have an evening job. So I don't have much time to cook in between jobs or after the jobs once I get done. So prepping my meals will be very, very important for me to have. I recently launched a meal prep YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoy this. All right, so this is everything I got for my groceries. Like I mentioned, all of this was around, yeah, $122. So today is Sunday, so I'm going to be... All right, so this right here is everything that I got from Target for my groceries and my meal prep. Today is Sunday and I'm going to use it as always to meal prep the meals for the week. As you may or may not know, I do work two jobs, one from nine to five and then one in the evenings. I do have a small gap, but it doesn't give me enough time to cook and prep a meal. So this right here is gonna be important for me to take this Sunday to meal prep the, mo the meals for the week and have everything ready. And yes, take care of ourselves, which I mentioned in the previous video that the month of February one of my habits that I want to incorporate is taking better care of myself. And that includes skincare, that includes uh, fitness with workouts, that also includes reading and listening to podcast, which I'll multitask between meal prep and listening to a podcast. And also nutrition, really important. So let's get into it, into this chill day. Let's go. So this is the first meal that we have cooking for the meal prep. This right here is 100% grass fed, 85% lean, 50% fat ground beef with the Korean veggie mix that I am going to try and see if I like it or not. So those two will go together with this meal and I also have some rice cooking right there. Then the other meal that I'll have will be Alfredo penne pasta with grilled chicken, the fajita chicken strip that I showed you guys earlier, and then top it off with some shredded cheese on top for added flavor and extra size. 
But yeah, we're also currently watching Diary of a CEO with Davina McCall. She is a icon of television for 30 years, hosted Big Brother over a decade. Tens of millions of people looked up to her. And she explains much about her story and how she is who she is and how her traumas and all the issues in the past affected her but also helped her grow and learn why those happened and what were the triggers for those. And yeah, good podcast so far. I'm going to put it right in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. Highly encourage you. And this right here is podcast number seven. I don't know if you saw my previous video, but one of my goals this year is to listen to 50 podcasts. So in order to do so, I have to listen to five each month. So I listened to six on January and we're starting the month off with another podcast so that we can keep track and keep progressing with our goals. So I'm going to continue to cook, finish my meal prep, and then I'll catch, catch you guys in a bit. All right, so just wrapped up meal prepping. As you can see, we have plenty of meals to go for the rest of the week. Alfredo pasta with the fajita chicken strips and some shredded cheese on top. These are all the same, these and this. And then right here, ground beef with white rice and then the Korean barbecue veggie mix with a teriyaki sauce that I had. Those sets of three are same thing. So we pretty much have food for the entire rest of the week. So we are good to go on that end.